What do you think? You have to do the talking. Why do I have to do the talking? Because I'm a silent guy. Yeah, you're just going to sit here quietly? Mostly. It'll make for a very interesting video. Mostly. I'm going to have Grandma on the next one. Good. Yeah. So we can see which one of you does better, right? Grandma will. Probably. Probably. Either way. Hello, hello. Welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today, we are reviewing... Well, my grandfather and I are reviewing three board games that we played together over the weekend. Uh, Grandpa, you love board games. Some. Some board games. Some. Can you name any board games you enjoy? Mm. Skull. You did like Skull. Well, spoiler alert for this hierarchy of games, I suppose. Now, Grandpa, just so that, you know, you talking about board games doesn't come off, come off the wrong way, could you please say something about biology that I will have no idea what you're saying? About Columbula, about bugs or insects or arthropods or any of the things that you spent your entire career studying? The uh, Entomobriid have a colophore, but not the uh, isotomids. Okay. And then there's the uh, uh, Fulsomia candida yeah. that doesn't have one either. Okay, interesting. Fascinating. Good. I didn't think you'd know what I was talking about. I have about. no idea what you're talking about. If any of you watching have any idea or take the time to figure out what he just said, feel free. Now we're going to start talking about a few party games that we spent some time playing. Now, I grew up playing games. I grew up playing games here in my grandparents' house, uh, and I'm going to be doing a video with my grandmother on some of the games that I played as a child. Uh, but I brought back a few party games that should be easy to learn. I believe That's the, what I need. I believe the age range was like six and below, which you were skeptical That's about. That's good for me. That is good for you. Uh, and we successfully played all of these games with varying results. You successfully played them. I'm not sure I did. So let's start with the one that you already said is one that you liked. That's good. You enjoyed Skull. I did. How do you go about playing Skull? Do you remember? Well, you got to open the box first. <laughs> it's true. Skull is going to be a bit of a pressure luck and bluffing game. Where you're going to be playing down a few different tiles onto your mat in front of you. Uh, for instance... We have a row of flowers and then a skull. And then at some point you're going to challenge the rest of the table, claiming that you can flip over a certain number of those tiles. So starting with your own, you'll flip flowers, 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 until you run into a skull. The object of the game is to successfully not run into any skulls twice in a row. Why did you like this game? Uh, because I could learn how to play it pretty quickly. That's fair. You picked it up. You picked it up fairly quickly. Yeah, it's about time I pick up. And we something played. Quickly. We played probably what four or five games. Something like that. What What did you like about it though? When it came to other than it being accessible and easy to play. Well, it just I don't know. It just had a little bit of trickery in it. Okay. And you had to study what the other guy was doing. A little and you bit. You had to follow what he did so that you might outwit him. It's fair. That is exactly what you're doing. Trying to make sure that grandmother doesn't uh, play a skull down on the top of her stack and then trick you into pulling it, right? Right. Yeah. I don't think you won any of them, though. I don't think so. <laughs> but I had fun playing it just the same. That's fair. You also, one game that's not here that you enjoyed playing as well is a game called Echidna Shuffle. You remember that one? No. Traffic jam of little echidnas moving around the board. You played it with oh, uh, your yeah. great-grandchild. You played it with me. I think so, yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Cockroach Poker. My great-grandchild. You played it with... Oh, no, it's just your grandchild. Not right. your great-grandchild. I forget which age range they're in. Nathan's the same age range Nathan's, Yeah, but Nathan's like, Nathan's like, what, 14 years younger than me? 15 years younger than me? He's 11 years old. I'm 28. So he's 17 years younger than That's you. That's C. Great-grandchild. Either way, I'm the favorite. I was the first. I count the most. Uh, cockroach Poker. You got me confused on that one. I got you confused on Cockroach Poker? No, on that <laughs> number one. I, well, I, I am the first. I, I'm pretty sure that means I'm the best, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. That's, okay. Fine. We won't <laughs> argue that point. Okay, good. you're bound it's to It's on lose. camera. Yeah. It's on camera. Uh, Cockroach Poker. You enjoyed this game? This is the first one we played? That was fun because I could tell something about the critters that were on the pictures. Here's the thing, though. You were starting to diagnose. Now, this is a game I've talked about quite a bit on the channel. 
I am very, very fond of this game. It is as easy, it is accessible, it is a lot of fun. It is a bluffing game where you're handing cards to other players, trying to trick them into taking any of these different animals and creatures and placing them in front of them by not believing or believing the lie that you're telling. Now, you had a few issues with this game in particular. Uh, I remember you complaining. Were you complaining about the cockroaches at all? Now the cockroaches look like cockroaches. They look That's like cockroaches. Like it was the stink bugs, I believe, that stink you bugs continued. Stink bugs gave me a problem. What, what was the problem with the stink bugs? Can you please explain why, uh, why those were an issue? The antennae are all wrong. Okay. Why? How so? Well, they have four-segment antennae, four or five-segment, and they aren't curled like that. They're straight. Okay. So they should have segmented antennae. Well, they all have segmented antennae, but they only have four long segments in a, in a stink bug. Any other things that were wrong with the stink bugs? Well, obviously the eyes. Insects don't have eyes like that. No. But I'm, I'm you know, I know. Yeah. you got to have something that makes sense. It has sense. to be a little cute. It has to be a little yeah. cute. Any of these other ones? You had flies, scorpions, they had issues with? Well, same thing, the eyes, but that looks like a scorpion. Yeah, that looks like a... That's a stink bug. Uh, what, about, what about these flies? Any issues well, once there? Once again, it's the eyes, and in this case, the wings. What's wrong with the wings? Well, flies don't have that... The veins in the wing don't look like a fly to me. What about this one? That one looks more like a fly's wings, but... Well... Come on, they're, they're caricatures of flies. Sure. I, I, not everybody's going to be an entomologist and try to critique these things. Well, just remember us playing through this and you grumbling about them. I the grumble about them. Shape of the animals. What, what would you, if you had to rate these, like one out of ten, what would you give Skull? Uh, just have your personal on, rating On the skill. basis of... Whatever you want. How fun it was, how like you, likely you would to be playing it again, if you'd well, recommend it to other I'd people. I'd play this again. I would recommend that, that one to people of, of you know, a anything below age 6 or above age 70. Okay, so, well, yeah, that's they fair. They play about the same level. Cockroach poker? Where would you where would you put that? Well, anybody below the age 10 or above the, pay, play, above the age 75. Okay. Then maybe they could handle it. They could handle that yeah. as well. Champions of the Wild, a game that I got in Kickstarter about a year ago because I believe, once again, as people who are fond of this channel know, Shut Up and Sit Down heavily recommended this game. This is a game all about uh, sending out different animals into a competition, kind of like the Olympics, trying to figure out if an orangutan could be the best at sumo wrestling versus an elephant or an ostrich, trying to determine who could win a 26-mile-long race, and finally figuring out who could get out of the maze the most effectively Obviously quickly. the elephant. Well, obviously the elephant. What did you think of this game? It was fun. I would rather play the other two. You'd rather play the other two? Why? Well, because, like I said, those fit between the age of six below and 70 above, and I okay. can handle it. This one is more like age 12 below and, I don't know, 55 and up. 12 below and 55 and Maybe up? Maybe 14 below and 55 and up. Are you, saying, are you saying 12 to 55? No, I'm saying 0 to 12 Yeah. or 55 and up. Should not play this. Should play this. Should play this. Yes. So you think a one-year-old should be playing this? Not a one-year-old, but maybe maybe like a five to a fourteen. Your rating, I don't your know. rating skills is confusing as mine. Mine is. I, I'm confused too. But this is your this is your least favorite of the three. This is my the one that I have most difficulty playing. Would you play it again? Oh yeah, I'd play it. Yeah. I would just have to work harder at it. Sure. Would you have difficult difficulty with it about? I don't know that I'd have so much difficulty. It'd just be take a lot more thought. Yeah. I mean, can an elephant run a mile? Possibly. I don't know. Maybe. You're not allowed to Google search, though. You just have to argue with the audience about what it can do. Well, that's no fair. I've got to use my resources. Mm. You could use books. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't use books Google. Books that I've already read. You don't use probably. Google anyway. What's Google? Exactly. Okay. Either way. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Skull is an absolutely lovely game. Champions of the Wild, I think I would play with children. Um, I think it was fun and creative, but 
really that 8 to maybe 12 age range. I want a few of those at the table, so maybe Alex uh, Radcliffe and his children, uh, because it'd be fun to debate whether or not a whale could be the best at jousting, but, you know, unless you're either uh, hanging out with a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of teens or arguing amongst a bunch of children, it really isn't quite the game for me. And then Cockroach Poker, of course, is a game that I cannot highly recommend enough. Uh, any other final thoughts? Anything you want to say? I, I kind of forced you into getting on camera here. Oh, you've forced me all my life, so what's the difference? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> what have I forced you to do all your life? Make, make me hike the Appalachian Trail. You wanted to do that with me. Yeah, but it was your idea. You I, tricked me into it. And then you tr dragged me along for three months. Three? Is that all? And a half-ish. Okay. 1,200 miles. Pencil so what? Pennsylvania to Maine. So what? 1,200 yeah. miles. That's, Not that that's, far. Yeah. Yeah. And you survived more than I did. That's true. That's true. You broke a rib on the way. I cracked a rib. Well, either way, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm going to trick my grandmother into recording one of these now as well. He does that all the time to us, tricks us.